Today we are sharing Dinah's story as part of Delaware Division of Historical and Cultural Affairs, Delaware Day 2020. Dinah was an enslaved woman who lived and worked on the Dickinson land next to the St. Jones River southwest of Dover, Delaware. Her mother was an enslaved woman named Flora, who was also owned by the Dickinson family. Samuel Dickinson was a tobacco merchant and farmer, and after his death, his assets, including enslaved individuals, were distributed between his sons, John and Philemon. Dinah, who was considered property, was inherited by Philemon Dickinson and was separated from her mother when Philemon sold her to another slaveholder. John Dickinson, a framer and signer of the U.S. Constitution, purchased Dinah and her daughter Nancy in June of 1772. It was at Dinah's request to prevent them being sold against her inclination to a slaveholder in Maryland. Later that year, Dinah and Nancy released the tenant farmer William Thompson for five years. Dinah was a skilled spinner who spun both flax and wool. She was able to spin enough for herself and ten other people. Dinah had three children named Nancy, James, and Cecilia. Nancy was sometimes called Nan, and James was sometimes referred to as Jim. Dinah, her mother Flora, and her children remained enslaved until 1786. John Dickinson freed Nancy in a 1781 manumission, yet listed her again in the 1786 manumission documents. After John Dickinson freed Nancy and James, they were indentured to him with Dinah's consent. Nancy for 15 years and James for four years and five months. Eventually, James agreed to work for John Dickinson for 20 pounds a year and a suit of clothing. By 1792, Dinah had married Peter Patton, who was a free black tenant farmer who leased land from John Dickinson. In 1810, Dinah purchased check fabric from Joseph Barker's store. Dinah was a part of the black community that lived in the St. Jones Neck area.